Since a standard ketogenic diet encourages moderate protein intake, there's a fine line between how much is too much or too little. Some people believe too much protein can kick you out of ketosis, while others think too little can hinder your health and fitness goals and leave you feeling hungry. So how much protein should you consume on keto? In this video you will learn everything you need to know about protein on a low-carb, or keto lifestyle. We make videos on topics such as keto, weight loss and nutrition, so if you want to learn more about how you can be healthier and fitter, then like this video and subscribe to our channel. If you are looking for a personalized custom keto diet plan, with the option to swap your meals in case you don't like them, then click the link in the description below. Protein is an essential component of every healthy diet. Of the three macronutrients, protein, fat, and carbs, protein and fat are the only two that are essential to live. Adequate protein consumption is crucial for hair, nail, and skin health, hormonal function, building and repairing tissue, recovering from workouts, lowering blood pressure, and regulating cholesterol. One of the biggest mistakes people run into when going keto is eating too little protein. Most beginners will fall into the belief that high protein consumption may turn to glucose, through a process called gluconeogenesis, which supposedly hinders your body's ability to burn ketones for fuel. On keto, it's better to eat more protein, than it is to eat too little. Now, let's discuss how much protein you should eat on a keto diet. How much protein you need on a keto diet, depends on your unique body and goals. We recommend a protein intake of 1.2 to 1.7 grams per kilogram of body weight for most people. Protein intake within this range has been shown to preserve muscle mass, improve body composition, and provide other health benefits in people who eat low-carb diets. In a few cases, even higher protein intake of up to 2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight may be beneficial. This would include people who are underweight or healing from illness, injury, or surgery and, in some cases, people who are very physically active. If you're near your ideal body weight or very muscular, use your actual weight to calculate your protein needs. However, if you're overweight, it's best to use your reference weight or ideal body weight in order to prevent overshooting your protein needs, which are based on the amount of lean mass you have. Now, let's discuss the role of protein in ketosis. Restricting carbohydrates is one of the main elements of the ketogenic diet. But, since our bodies need some glucose for certain functions of the body, protein plays an even larger role for optimal health in people who follow a low-carb diet. When your body doesn't produce glucose from protein, it will start looking for other sources, like your muscles. If you are just starting a low-carb, high-fat keto diet, keeping protein intake low can negatively affect your overall body composition, strength, and endurance. Many people who consume too little protein on keto may experience weight loss plateaus, thyroid issues, hormonal imbalances, hair, skin and nail problems. In fact, several keto dieters have experienced significant improvements in overall health after increasing protein intake. And now, how much protein can you eat on the ketogenic diet? You already know that the bulk of your calories should come from fats to successfully start burning ketones for energy while keeping carbohydrates low. The traditional ketogenic macronutrient protocol recommends 75 to 80 percent of calories from fat, 20 percent of calories from protein, and 5 percent of calories from carbohydrates. This is the most common breakdown for macros to enter ketosis. But for many people, especially those who exercise frequently, protein intake should make up a larger percentage of your total daily caloric allowance. If you're a beginner to the low-carb, high-fat lifestyle, the best course of action is to prioritize protein intake and consume about 25% of your calories from protein. Make sure you are also filling in the rest of your calories with healthy fats. 
Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, then comment, like and subscribe as we regularly upload videos on keto and weight loss.